Hello. Good, good morning. morning. Morning, morning. More good weather. Uh -huh. Another nice day here in Merrickdalen, which I'm not used to because I've been here uh, and it hasn't been this nice, so it's good. And it's now really early in the morning. Ah, hey trolls. I was thinking you were gonna be down here. I had some ideas and some questions I wanted to ask you. Can I come up and ask you a couple quick questions? Is it here? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Not a bad way to work no, today. I would love to hear your three best things oh. about douchebags as well, about starting the company. Okay. Okay, that should be yeah. better than me like holding everything. Oh, okay. Well, um, you caught me a bit on the bed. I know, but yes. that, that's good. <laughs> I wanted your honest opinion, not yeah. like a planned one. Yeah. Okay, but I think um, for me, starting a company, first of all, I think it's a lot of personal development in being an entrepreneur, <laughs> that you need to figure out new things the entire time. You need to progress, not only like professional, but also also personal. If I knew how much work it was to make a bag when we started it, that uh, would have been like, probably not. So you have to be it's, yeah, stupid enough uh, or ignorant enough uh, to not care about all the headaches you're going to run into. Uh, like just well. this last bag, we ha we've had so many headaches with this one bag. <laughs> the fact there's been a constant mm. mega headache. So what, 10 days ago, I got an email there where Trills explained, look, we can't do the final solution. So I'm like, bam, in a Photoshop, I'm like, set of, an hour later back, oh, what do you think of this? And then the bag arrived here to Voss, and I'm like, this is the best bag we've ever made. <laughs> but, and it was just by pure luck that they couldn't do what we wanted, so we had to change. Yeah. But yeah, the... Yeah, that, that, that's a part of it as well. You have to be super dynamic in your yeah. process. Okay. I have number two. Okay. Yeah, I think Go. that's definitely the people. That's like meeting people like Jan and getting to work with them and getting inspired every day you go to work working close with you getting you know all your input on how you actually attack the world because that's totally different than anyone else <laughs> and i uh, just go ahead first <laughs> <laughs> but i'm going to compliment it by saying the fact that if you work with awesome people mm. it means that every email you get from them is a relevant email mm. and it's a question that that you want to answer because you know it's a good question it's a positive it's something good Every communication within the company, even mm. if it's a lot, positive because we all understand yeah. the whole thing. Mm. Yeah, so positive communication yeah. is so key in your life. Because if you keep getting emails that upsets you, mm. you become an angry, grumpy person. Mm. And then the third thing, I think that's that you manage to combine your professional life with your private life. You're going to spend like, I don't know, 70 percent of your life or 60 percent of your life working you better create a workplace if, if you can't find it somewhere else create a workplace that you really enjoy so as Trill said mm -hmm. if i one day i'm at home and i either have a spreadsheet to develop a new color range for for the bags or i get offered to go for a ride around monaco in a ferrari mm -hmm. i rather do colorways <laughs> and i travel a lot so i'm gonna add a fourth to my list <laughs> since i travel so much <laughs> I am having this company enables me to affect how my travel is mm. well how my life works out so that's why I mm. have in board meetings I'm like we need to get this now mm. and now because it's like we're basically talking about my home when we're talking about bags then I want to add a fourth as well since you did it okay so and and that is actually that you know a lot of our customers when they come back to us and say like thank you guys you really made my day easier yeah that's like the most re rewarding thing and like being part of that journey mm -hmm. yeah do you feel a lot of rewards or do you constantly look forward to the next thing we <laughs> realized we suck at it but i think the reason we got to where we are is because we it's not like someone says, oh, what a great bag. And we're uh, like, sweet, let's have a coffee. Like that. We're let's like, go for the next one. <laughs> they're like, what a sweet bag. And I'm like, yeah, but what if it was this and this and this and this? Maybe, was, maybe we should try that. I've, I've never tried that. I reach a goal. No, that wasn't good enough anyway. And I need to reach another 100 million goals. I agree, though. Yeah. That's something that's in my planning to work on, to like feel satisfaction. That's why I like kayak paddling, because when I got upside down and I didn't drown, I felt satisfaction. I've never seen that stoked no. in like a long time. So I realized that maybe I should start skydiving, base jumping. <laughs> 
maybe I need to go and be an adrenaline junkie to feel the happiness. Because I was like, ah! Oh, you can just see the, I don't know, adrenaline and dopamine and everything just boiling in your water. Uh, yeah, because yeah. nothing else moves me anymore. I've seen everything. I've done everything. So now climbing mountains and rivers, it's awesome. Well, you should move to Norway then. You should move to Norway. But first, we're going to go grab a coffee because I attack trolls here right in the morning of the sales meeting. <laughs> Trills, thank you for your time. No problem. Hopefully you guys got some uh, insight in how it is to be an entrepreneur and the goods and the bads. So keep working. I'm going to keep going down and uploading a video. Cool. See you on. And then tomorrow you're going to be in the video. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, now I'll get kind of... Don't worry. I'll cut you nicely. Perfect. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> okay. So we are wrecking. So I'm going to try to do two things at once. I'm going to try to walk here and then I'm going to also try to explain exactly what we're doing in Myrkdalen. The last two days have been a board meeting with awesome board meeting people. And the next two days are going to be sales meetings. And the reason I'm in a sales meeting is because I have worked a lot with the product development and I know the company by heart. Like every day I'm, I'm trying to figure out who is this company for? Why are we making this bag? Why is this pocket here? Why do we make this color and who, why do we sponsor this person? So I think all the knowledge that I've sort of gained from that can hopefully help the sales team uh, to convince buyers that we have a good thing going. I feel ready for my small part. Yeah, well, small but important. Good things come in small packages, y'all, you know? Small? In what way do you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> I should have some sort of a title called like Chief of Stupid Ideas. You have a title. Yeah, my title is Chief Visionary Officer. CVO. CVO. This way. This way. <laughs> well, I'm just filming. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> so I guess this is the only corner that I can actually shoot a wide shot on, right? About it. And then we got to get a long lens and zoom in on me when I'm talking. Sounds perfect, Jan. That's, that's the only thing we can do, <laughs> otherwise we re reveal all the secrets. Oh. I'm gonna go film the carpet now so I don't get yelled at. So I think it's safe to say that I need Marcus back because I just uh, recorded half an hour of a presentation when I was uh, saying a bunch of interesting things and then I come back and I realize that there's no sound on it. So as you can see, that's not very interesting to look at, but we had a good presentation, good sales meeting, and uh, it's good to be here and learn about sales part as well because even if I like developing products and doing things like that, I still need to learn about the sales part in order to do my best in the other parts as well. So that was kind of frustrating because I thought I had some really good shots for this, this vlog, but I guess not. I'm still so bummed. I recorded 30 minutes and I forgot to turn on the mic. Well, I guess we, could, we, we can repeat a couple of the questions. One of the questions was, how much time do you spend working on douchebags? And then I would say, hold on, let me. As I was saying, we did a bunch of Q and A's and one of the questions was, how much time do you spend working on douchebags? And I would say that roughly 70% of the emails I have in my inbox are from douchebags. Uh, everything from product development, which I guess takes the most time to like, um, I do a lot of mock-ups in Photoshop in terms of new colors. I just like to know what's going on because I always have little ideas on how to tweak things. So now I have a note full of little things that I thought could be useful. But tomorrow we have the return of Marcus. So now we can film more and have two brains that remember to uh, turn the mic on when we're filming. So I think it's gonna be real nice to have him back and then we are gonna go to Oslo for a day and then we're gonna fly down to Marbella. I, I still haven't booked where I'm going. I should probably check if there's tickets, but that's kind of the plan to go to Oslo, have a meeting on Wednesday, and then Wednesday night fly to my Marbella. I forgot to wreck again. <laughs> Today's just not a good vlog day. I was gonna do an ending here a second ago and I forgot to push wreck. And then there was no sound on the presentation. So I'm sorry for the shittiest video blog. So vlog, sorry, I'm gonna learn to say that it's a vlog and not a video blog. But that's what I used to call it 10 years ago when we started doing videos. So from now on it's vlog and I'm gonna end it today and hope for a better day tomorrow. I just realized everyone's at dinner and they have the key to the house. So not even that's working today.